Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to use the Quarkus security testing extension. In the previous video, we learned how to implement the authorization and authentication with Quarkus, implementing the Amazon card resource using the permit hole and roles allowed annotation. In this video, we are going to test the Amazon card resource. Let's start and follow my steps. Let's open the Maven module Amazon Cart and the Amazon Cart Resource Java class. We are going to test all the methods get items, add item, and delete item. If we open the pomxml file, we can see that we already have the test dependencies JUnit 5 and REST Assured. Good. What do we have to do now? we have to create the Amazon Cart Resource test class. Perfect, we are ready. The first thing to do is to add the Quarkus test annotation on top of the Amazon Cart Resource test class. Then add the annotation test method order because we want to test all the methods in a specific order. Last but not least, let's add also the test HTTP endpoint annotation specify the Amazon cart resource class. Good. Let's start with the get items method. Rename it in get items empty list. This one will be the first test to run. So let's add the annotation order with the value one. In the method get items empty list, we need to write when coming from rest assured then get, then assert that, followed by the status code. The status code is 200, meaning status code OK. With the body, we will test just the size of our list. In this case, the size will be zero, empty list. Perfect, let's run it. Click on run. Good, our first test, get items empty list, is working as expected. Now let's move to another test, add item. The method add item receives an Amazon item. It adds this item inside the list and returns a response with a status code OK with the entire list of Amazon item. It is a post method that produces and consumes a media type application JSON. The Amazon item is a simple Java bin with an ID, name, and quantity. So, first let's create the JSON object to send inside the request. Let's specify the ID 1, name, item name, and quantity 10. Perfect. Now, in the same way that we did for the get items empty list, let's type given specify in this case the content type application JSON, the body to send inside the request our JSON item, post, then, assert that, and for the status code 200. Let's check the size of the list, in this case not anymore empty, but with one item. And let's check also each field of the first item that we added. Good, let's put the order annotation with the value 2 and now we can run all the tests. Unfortunately, as we can see, the test failed because the status code is not 200, ok, but 401, unauthorized. This happened because the add item can be used only if the user has admin or writer permission as we can see with the annotation roles allowed. Now we know why our test failed, but what can we do to make it work? We can use the Quarkus test security extensions. Open the pomxml file of Amazon cart module and add a new dependency. The group ID must be io.quarkus and the artifact ID must be Quarkus test security. 
don't forget to specify the scope of the test. Let's import the dependency in our project. Good. Let's go back inside the Amazon cart resource test. Now we are ready to add a new annotation called test security with the property authorization enable equal false. In this case, we are going to disable the authorization and authentication to test our head item. And because of that, let's rename the test case as head item authorization disabled. Now let's run again all the tests. Perfect. And now the head item test is working as expected. We use the authorization enable equal false but we can also create a new test case to test the head item using the authorization and authentication that we implemented with the role allowed annotation. Let's create a new test. In this case, the order annotation value is three. Let's call it add item with authorization. Let's create again the JSON object, put in ID 2, name item name 2, and quantity 12. Let's write the same test case of the method add item authorization disabled, checking that the size of the list is 2 and checking the field of the second element inside the list. Good. To make it work with the authorization, we need to use again the test security annotation. But in this case, we need to put the property user equal test user. It is just a name. And the list of roles. We are going to put only the writer role. Perfect. Now we are ready to run all the tests that we implemented so far. Very good, they are working. To improve our test, we can even write another test case that for add item sending a wrong authorization. What we have to do right now is to copy the previous test case, change the role from writer to a wrong one like viewer and also change the status code from OK to forbidden. Last but not least, the simple one add item with no authorization where we have to remove the test security annotation and change the status code from OK to unauthorized. Perfect. Let's run all the tests that we implemented so far. Very good. All the tests are working as expected. In the end, we have to test the delete item method in the same way. We need to send the ID of the item to delete and use the role admin. So in the same way, we are going to create four different test cases. The delete item authorization disabled, delete item with authorization, delete item with wrong authorization, and the last one, delete item with no authorization. First, we need to put the order annotation with the value 6, 7, 8, and 9. Then we can start with the delete item authorization disabled. As we can imagine, we need to use the test security with the properties authorization enable equal false. Then let's write the test. Type given when delete using the ID 1 and then let's check the status code as no content. That's it, very simple. Instead the delete item with authorization, let's use the test security annotation, specifying the roles admin and writer, and put the same test case with a different ID. For the delete item with wrong authorization, let's use a wrong role like viewer and change the status code from no content to forbidden. Last but not least, the delete item, no authorization, where without using the test security annotation, we have to just change the status code from no content to unauthorized. Very good. 
Let's run all the test cases. Well done. The source code of this video, you can find it inside my GitHub repository. Feel free to clone it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.